Hi, I'm Andy, the mechanic for the Rafa Condor professional cycling team. Well, my name is Darren Lapthorn. I'm Tom Southern from the Rafa Condor professional cycling team. The important thing I would say would be your bottle cage holders. Make sure they're nice and tight. Just check them with your bid on. Put the bid on in, make sure it stays in tight. You can always just bend them down a little bit like that. Uh, this is the bike with the brake blocks out. You can see these are new brake blocks. They've got the full braking surface there with the fins in there for clearance, etc. If you start with brake blocks like this, by the end of 260k or even 140k, if it's a rainy day, you can end up with virtually any brake blocks. If you start with half a brake block, you'll be out of out of the ride because you won't have any brakes. Uh, next thing, power train. Try and keep your chain, your cassette and your chain rings nicely degreased and well oiled. If you look at this bike here now, if you start the event like that, the chain's nice and free, there's no grip running on the chain, there's no grip running on the chain rings and on the sprockets themselves. So that that helps because again over that distance you'll end up with a thin layer of grime and dust and dirt that will uh, grind away wheels and tyres. You can see this bike it's got uh, Continental Grand Prix 24mm tyres and slightly wider profile. For the bouncy roads it's better to have a slightly wider tyre, it will uh, absorb the bumps better, you can run the pressure less. less. Uh, check your tyres for cuts, no cuts, no flints in them so it's worth investing in some good tyres, not brand new tyres, if you run brand new tyres they could slip in the wet a little bit so putting them on the week before the Belgian roads run six to seven bars. If it's raining, even less. Last year I spent the year with um, Team Sparkasse from Germany and we did quite a bit of racing in um, Germany, Holland and Belgium. So um, I've got a few, few good tips for the roads on just how to approach the roads around, um, especially the cobbled sections um, throughout Belgium. Um, I think my first tip is generally if you're riding on a road in Belgium you have to look out for the bicycle paths because um, uh, it's required that you do ride on a path if, if there is one available. I think when you approach cobbled stones uh, you know it's, it's, it's very difficult. There's a big difference between racing on cobbled stones and general training or riding on cobbles and um, I find that when you're just out training and you want to get through a cobbled section it's quite good to um, push a, a solid gear and try and hold yourself just slightly you know above the saddle just to take some weight off the saddle because um, you have to let the let the bike balance itself out and go as smoothly as possible along the cobbled sections um, and also if there is a cobbled section often you, you'll find um, you know almost a dirt trail um, next to the cobbles which a lot of cyclists tend to choose because it's so it might be, might be um, a dirty way to get through the cobbled section, but it's it's going to be smoother. And if you can get through the cobbled section as comfortably as possible, then it makes a big difference. So, and also on the cobbles, if you can find a, a smooth section where the traffic has been has been running along, and the cobbles maybe might be slightly smoother, that also makes a big difference. Yeah, well, good luck with everything, and um, enjoy enjoy the cobbles as much as you can. to take you through a few tips of getting ready for a big one day race. Uh, if I was heading out to a one day race I'd like to get there ideally the morning before um, and then so I can get there early, get my stuff into the room, get my bike unpacked, ready or put together before lunch and then head out on the bike for maybe an hour and a half. Uh, low gears, um, possibly depending on how fast the start was going to be which I imagine in Belgium will be fast uh, with a few sprints to open the legs and the lungs up in a small gear. So you're not damaging the legs, but you're letting your body know you're going to be doing some work soon. Um, I'm going to have as, uh, a decent sized evening meal. I'd give it about 70% of your food and want to be carbohydrates. Um, so pasta, potatoes, rice, whatever takes your fancy, but you've got to get your stores ready for the next day. Also, dessert's not a bad thing the, the night before a race, as long as you don't leave a table so full you can't sleep. Uh, in the evening, after dinner, probably prepare um, my bags uh, for the next day, um, preparing all my food. Uh, if I've got my race number already, the race number on the jersey. 
look at the weather and work out exactly what I'm likely to wear. Um, so that's ready and folded for the morning and then make a separate wet bag which if you have the availability of a team car or a truck you can pop in the back because uh, the weather in Belgium tends to change <laughs> um, particularly that time of year. Um, the best time to eat is three hours before the start uh, it gives your body time to digest your food um, so you're not being stuffed on the start line and you're not empty is the other extreme. Then uh, with everything packed you can be pretty relaxed with that and then head off to the race and get there maybe I'd say an hour before the start, a good hour. So there you have it, tips from the pros on how to get your bike, your body and your bag ready for your big day in Flanders. Good luck to everyone.